Hi friends, this is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Welcome. Today we're gonna use some botanical layers. Uh, this is a stamp set that goes with the suite that has this beautiful paper. And if you watched my last video, we specifically focused on this paper, used a sentiment, um, and made a card. Very simple. When you have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful DSP, I don't know why anyone would gonna cover it. This is just absolutely gorgeous. This one right here is my favorite. I think I showed you it on the last card. Just gorgeous. Just, oh. So today, we're going to make, I don't know what we're gonna make. We're gonna make two cards, maybe three, but we're gonna make some A2 size thank you cards to start with. All right, so I'm gonna make a really simple sketch and let me give you some measurements. Uh, I first am going to need a piece, a scrap piece. Let's see if I can get this one. And we're going to measure some white that's four and, four and three quarters by four and three quarters. No, four and three quarters by five and a half by five and a quarter. Four, <laughs> I'm doing an A2 size card. Four, four by five and a quarter. It's been so long since I've done one, done an A2 size card, and here I'm gonna to try to do two. Maybe we'll sink in a five by seven too. I haven't decided yet. Oh, 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 look what it is. I've already measured this perfectly out. Let's give you some measurements. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, yes. All right, that's better, don't you think? All right, so we don't need this. We need a piece of gray granite. This is uh, Knight of Navy. Starry sky, specific point, and gray granite. All right, so gray granite, four and three quarters by, no, four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna keep saying the wrong measurements, I apologize. This one looks to be a four inch square, and I'll tell you why I did this. This one is two inches by four inches. Let me tell you why I did the four inch square especially for this particular piece of DSP, I wanted to see which way I liked it. And that way, if I chose to do it this way, I still had the right measurements. So I cut a little bit too much, but tucking it under is perfectly fine. Um, ooh, I kind of like that one better than that one. Hmm, we might have to recut this piece. So again, a four by four piece and then this one is actually four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So let's do it this way. I like this way. Just leave an eighth of an inch around here. Let's get this straight so the next one can be straight. All right. And then what do you think? Don't you think the other one is better? Yeah, I think we're going to cut a little bit of something different here. I mean, I like this one enough, and I don't want that. No, I want it to be soft and beautiful. Where are you? Oh, piece that I'd like, where are you? Ooh, that's pretty too. Let's try that one, and this one, and then we'll see which one we like. Sound good? All right, so we are going to do two inches by four inch, and we'll cut with the grain. So two inches wide by four inches. And for those of you magical people that cut their DSP a certain way so you can get, you know, lots of cardstock out of it, that's not me. I have lots of these pieces, and then I just buy another piece because I want what I want out of it, and since I might buy, buy seven cards, I never, you know, I can get full four and three quarters and four and three quarters out of it. Two, four of them. And that's all that matters to me. So then I can do what, what I want to them. All right, there we go. Now, which one shall we like? This one is cool. Like that, it's already texturized. What do we think, what do we think? This one? Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm thinking this one too, since that competes with that. That's why I didn't want to do that. Because this competes. Look how much it competes. So let's do this piece right here. And since it already looks like that embossing folder, should we just emboss it? I don't remember what it's called, but it looks exactly like this embossing folder. Now, if you just had a regular piece, happy birthday would be fun. Maybe we'll leave that out. Or, I mean, thank you, because I don't do those small ones. I don't do those small ones. Time worn type. Say that five times fast, but look at it. It's perfect. Exactly. Let's see, shall we, shall we? Yeah, we shall. Ooh, we should probably do it like straight. I'm just saying. All right, let me run that through my big shot, which is way over here. I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not able to take my large, oh, that hurts. Um, automatic, electrical, big shot with me. I do miss it. But here, yes, I am using my, oh, this one, because I have my other one buried. I'm trying to get ready to go to get surgery. By the time you receive this, I'll have surgery yesterday. Hopefully, if all else works, you know what I'm saying. This is actually, you lose some of the dimension in it but you still get some writing on it. What do you think? Did you, did you like it better the other way? Well, I kind of did too, but we're gonna leave it. I'm a sucker for an embossing folder. We might make another one that just says happy birthday. This is a really traditional, remember just an eighth of a, an eighth of a border, but this is a very traditional sketch. All right, let's get some very pretty gray granite. No, we're not gonna do that. I, I don't waste my, ever. Uh, I was, I had this idea in my head before I uh, made it, but I thought it was Sierra Sand. So then, you know, I'm like, oh, I have Sierra Sand ribbon. It's not Sierra Sand, just so you know, <laughs> it's gray granite. And Sierra Sand doesn't actually look bad with it, but Great Granite really, really works well with it. Because of course it is. All right, now, white. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. White's, white is nice. Then let's make a pretty bow, but let's decide on a sentiment. And maybe we'll even cut some stuff out. I know, shocking. But, hello, where are you, dyes? All right, I gotta go find my dyes. But I'll be back, because I'm gonna do dyes. I'm gonna do a, a yeah, but I gotta find my dyes, because I thought they were in here. Oh boy. All right, well, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so I only looked for 20 minutes, no big deal. But, Botanical Layers, the suite or the bundle is actually this really cool um, vellum. So I thought we would use that. And then because I wanted to add some something something, I thought we would add, I thought, we would add some of this Forever Fern. I'm, I think it's still in the catalog. I'm hoping it is. Just something. So I have two elements of Forever Fern out here. And we're just gonna try it. Does that work for everyone? I'm so glad. I'm so glad we're on the same page. I'm a little annoyed. This would've been pretty, right? That's really pretty to cut out. Well. Maybe I will see what happens if I put these things in the scan and cut. 
Not today, of course, because really, I do need to leave. I'm just saying, I don't know exactly what time it is, but it's probably time to leave. All right, so let's grab some Knight of Navy, and I do have some extras here, because the last card, oh, I have tons of extras. Whoopsie. All right, let's see. And then we'll do also some, um, this other color. You know, the color, the color. That's not gonna fit. Let's just do this one. I was hoping to do three of these, three cards. I'm not doing a very good job. This is supposed to be a simple sketch, people. All right, oh, I like this one a lot. I always like this one. Let's also try this fanny one. <laughs> okay, I cracked myself up, which is just wrong. All right, this fan one. Watch, I'll get a strike because I said fanny. <laughs> oh, gotta love life. All right, let's try this one. See if you like this one. Please just go in there nice. Thank you kindly. I really appreciate it that I didn't have to fight with you today. Ugh. All right. Oh, this is this. I kind of thought that it had some pokey things in it, you know. But I guess I was wrong, thank goodness, or that would have taken a while to get off, I guess. So I guess, you know, this is the better way. What do we like? Kind of like this one. Well, we'll leave both of them, just in case. And then we will take some, I'm putting this away so I don't put this in my bin. Some gray granite, and a little bit goes a long way. See why I keep these scraps? Because could you imagine if you had to cut into a whole piece or if you throw that one away because you're like, oh, I'll never use that size. And then here you are. Could be great for a sentiment. Could be for lots of things. I saw this one person. She cut everything down to like a no less than like a three by three square or something. Or she cut them all down to squares or whatever it was. And I was like, oh, look at all that paper you're wasting. I might do two of these. It was really, it was, it, it made my heart ache. Cause you know, I would have done this better. I would have got, but I'm gonna save this, really. I could have got, I could get something out of that, I promise. Let's do this one too. Look at this cute little piece. It fits amazingly well on this. So those of you that cut your paper into nice squares and you know, you, Throw away little strips. Oh, shame on you. Shame on you. I really like this one. All right, let's see what we're gonna do now. Now that we got our little bit seeds out. All right, let's put this over here. I, I, I'm sorry, every time I say let's, I think of lettuce and that's just stupid. I understand I'm, I'm very juvenile today, and but y you understand. It, is, it just it happens sometimes. All right, I can be juvenile. So, Um, I like this, you mean the world to me, and thank you for everything. Now, if you want to go back to Forever Fern, um, you can do this, or to a friend that makes me smile is always a perfect sentiment. Now, let's see. We got some of this, we've got some of this, we've got some of this, or we've got this, and this. Daintier and dainty. We'll see what we like. Um, I did put Oh no. I said I'm packing up, you remember? So I have I have lots of stuff that I'm taking with me everywhere. And this is my new have to have must have because I think uh oh, I'm gonna lose this forever fern. Let's put this away before I forget. I think, yeah, it's not very nice in there. I, I, we'll talk about it later, but I think if we choose a sentiment, let's choose one that says, thank you for everything. Thank you for everything it says. Right, there's only two sentiments on there here? No, this is you need the world to me. 
This is the one that I want. Whoops, the daisies. So, this maybe? Yeah. And then we'll put like this behind it? No. Ooh, can I do smaller? No, I can't. But this behind it with some vellum? Hmm, what about this one? Let's just tear it. What about that? Well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. There we go. All right. And then what about some Knight of Navy again? Let's get a little itty bitty piece. And we'll see what we can do with that. All right. Now, you mean the world to me. Can I get down with the smaller one, please? Like, pretty, please? Maybe. All right. Let's see. We have this one and this one. Will they fit? No, that's too tight. How about this one and this one? Will that fit? No, that's too tight. All right, come on. Look at that. See why I saved this stuff. All right, here we go. This like this, this like this. Now, let's do it like this. And I love the fact that we're doing a circle so it doesn't have to be straight. And we'll use Night of Navy. I guess we could use gray granite. It's softer. It's softer. One for each. That's really pretty. I like that gray granite. glad we're crafting together. This is my fun time. I was supposed to do a, like a really simple, this is what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do, because I know you guys like that. You don't like me playing, and I understand that, because, you know, I do, I get it, but this is how I like to craft. I like to see what I want to do and talk through with it with people. So I apologize, all of those, those of you who thought, oh, she's going to actually know what she's doing today. <laughs> I I got a, I got two sketches done. I know what I want to do. I think this is too big. I'm pretty sure this is too big. Oh my goodness. I really need to stop using this one, especially before surgery. All right. So, thank you for everything. Ooh, too big. I'm just saying. It it's this other one's got to fit, so let's make it. Let's make it, shall we? Oh, this is not perfect. I kind of like it like that. So we are going to just redo it because it, it was a little boo-booed. There was boo-boo on it. Well, not boo-boo, but you understand. It wasn't perfect like that one. Okay, now let's try that. Don't touch anything. Oh, that works. Why did I not think that would work? Because you're an idiot? Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's just roll that on through. That did not like that, did it? Okay, all right, and then let's clean this off so we don't get anything dirty on it. You guys are so helpful. All right, now, whoops, whoops, whoops. All right, we gotta put this back, we gotta put this back. I need to put this in, yes, agreed. This needs to go in a little container. All right, so, I really like the gray. Do I like the black and white? I think it's a, it's a negative. That is a negative. 
but I do like that. Now, okay, so this on this side or this on this side? Not in the middle, I agree. Oh, for heaven's sake. Do you see that little, I'll fix it. All right, I'll cut another one. What do we think, like that? Yeah? All right, okay, all right, well, I will get this mess cleaned up and I'll show you the end result. And then, yeah, yeah, okay, all right, okay. Okay, so I redid it, thank goodness, right? And I'm just gonna add more, <laughs> more than enough of these so they go through perfectly. And I am gonna do it over here. And sand eraser. All right, perfect. And then let's stick these suckers in there. Just do a little bit at the bottom. Excuse me, where are you? Thank you. And yes, yes, I'll be good. And I'll take out my silicone mat. Or I won't be good, because it's not in there. I must have taken it with me. It's packed somewhere. Here we go. And then we'll just add this tiny bit. Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? All right, all right, I'm cutting it. Let's see, can I use this part down here? So it looks like we have more than enough. No, okay, let's just stick it in here. Yeah, my terms, and don't overthink it because it's gonna look cool. And if you take it out and you redo it, you're not gonna do it in the same spot anyway, so I like it. All right, yes, yes, now, just asking. I'm just asking. See, I put them away pretty. But should we have like a bow? Or is that just too much? I think it's too much too. All right, so that was pretty. So yes, we had to bring in Forever Fern, but thank you for everything. It's a really simple sketch but I think with the extra, extra, it looks good. All right, one more simple sketch. All right, and this one, uh-oh, I lied to you. Yes, this is gonna be a simple sketch. It is. All right, we're going to do four and three quarters by four and three quarters. We're gonna make this a little sturdier. This is gonna be the simplest one of all. Really simple, easy peasy. Let the DSP shine. We're gonna put these together, don't do that, and make this a little bit sturdier. I would put this in my trimmer to get it right on. But since I'm in a rush, since you guys were like so insistent on doing things your way last one, last card, we had to like, you know, go through all the different things. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's add a little ribbon. We're using ribbon. We're doing good. We'll add a little ribbon here. I haven't made a landscape part in a really long time. All right, here we need a little bit there and a little bit there. And I'm thinking not the middle, right? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see it. Oops, whoops. I'm thinking not the middle, just down here, like this. We probably should center it, or I mean, you know, make it straight, but we're gonna eyeball it. Because we have good eyeballs. I mean, really, we do. All right, and a little bit here. Whoops, I need, no, I need, please. Okay, and a little bit here. Woo, did you see that? All right, now we got this. Ooh, should we line it with some gray granite? Yes. Gray granite, here we come. 
This was supposed to be an easy sketch, guys. Like super, like, you know, one cut. So that is four, four, I gave you the wrong measurements. Uh, four by five and a quarter, and this is going to be four and an eighth, and five and three eighths. I don't even know if I can use this. Look at this. Crazy, Amanda. All right. That looks like Sierra Sand. Yeah, that's, see the difference? It's like a nothing. But that is Sierra Sand. I put it in the wrong one. So we're going to go this way. Five and three eighths. Here. And then we'll do four and an eighth here. Oh, I don't like this one. This is pretty beat up. In the middle. We will do it in the middle. Truthfully, we just need the edges to be nice. There we go. Those are pretty nice edges. I'm, you know, maybe. Uh-oh. Now I'm throwing things on the ground. All right. Gray granite and gray granite. Not in Sierra Sand, please. Now let's add this to this. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, just the tiniest bit. Hmm. I have nothing to say. Other than the fact that I really don't do these very much. All right. There we go. Simple, simple sketch, but... Fine. Fine. I'll do it my way then. How is it possible that I can keep running out of adhesive? All right, glue is next, guys. Do I have any glue around here? I must have glue somewhere. Woo! All right, all right. No, that's just wrong. Clean this up. <laughs> Clean that up. She never, it never, oh, no, don't do that. All right, now you can never have seen it. It's gone, it's bye-bye. Okay, now, let's do Something easy peasy. And where is the. <laughs> you mean the world to me. Easy, simple, you mean the world to me. And look, it's gonna fit straight like this. Let's see if we can use one of these two. No, no, come on now. I don't really want to use this. You mean the world to me? <sighs> I'll think of something to use. Okay, so a really pretty thanks from the hand pen really pretty sinks. Now, why didn't I use a script sinks? Or this, hey, I miss you. Um, for me, it's about what does the overall DSP look like? This looks elegant. And um, I just think that these are fun. You know, these ones right here look fun to me. And I'm all for fun. But for me, uh, this looked more elegant. Now, this is a very simple sketch. I mean, you don't have to do anything with it. This is an easy thank you card, which will go in the mail shortly. Um, but when you have DSP that looks like this, you know, why wouldn't you? 
this could have been any DSP on the top, any uh, on the bottom. Let me just put these away before I move them. As simple as that. Thank you. And uh, regular anything on the top. Um, even something like this could have been at the top. Any one of these could have been at the top. And a, a simple thank you uh, embossing folder at the bottom. Really easy. Circle thank you and you're done, right? So um, simple doesn't mean ugly, just means simple. All right, friends, had a lovely time playing with you again. I'm sorry that this was longer. It was supposed to be short, I apologize. But I had so much fun playing with you, playing, enjoying, creating with you. That's the word I am looking for. Um, I'm gonna put some butterflies on here, I think, or maybe some of these. I don't know what I'm gonna put on here. What do you think? Suggestions, suggestions? Probably should put some butterflies on here. Butterflies are pretty. And brass. Brass with blue? What do you think? Brass, gold? Yes, we're gonna try it. See, it worked. <laughs> Let me see if I can add this to you so the brass comes out a little bit more. And then it doesn't look so unusual, it's on my finger. And then we just added a color, right? A little bit different, because those are brushed and this is... I never know where to stick these things. I don't know about you, you guys, I just put them down. But you know, they never look bad. I mean, they don't look good, but they don't look bad. Just a little something to draw your eye. Let me know if you guys